welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. I hope you are doing well. We are on the rundown to Christmas Day. I am so excited that it is this gorgeous, festive time of year where I feel like it's just everyone's just in a good mood, you know? The radio stations, I've literally been listening to Magic FM play non stop Christmas songs, I think probably for the last three weeks. And every time I get in my car and it comes on, or I'm at the office and we have the music playing. It just instantly makes me in a good mood because I love that everybody's happy and just Christmas time is a time to give. So today I'm going to share with you some last minute Christmas gift ideas from your dog to your husband, boyfriends, mums, mother-in-laws, brother-in-laws, you name it, I have covered it today. I've also included a few bits that I personally have bought for myself or have been given and I've thought that was a really good gift either to myself or from somebody else but it's been a long-standing product or item that I've thought that is really worth the money or it's lasted me a long time so I feel like they're the perfect things to ask for this Christmas or give so with that being said let's start going through the list so <laughs> I have to start with the dogs because I am obsessed this time of year like I just love dressing Max up in Santa's little jumpers. I just love sitting under the Christmas tree. Even this year, butternut box, which is Max's favorite food, as you guys will know from Instagram or even on here as well, like he will not eat anything other than butternut box. He's so picky. So if you don't know already, Max is my little puppy, but he's not a little puppy anymore. We got him this time last year. Anthony actually surprised me with him for Christmas. And I said to him, this year my husband I don't know how you are ever gonna top bringing Max into my life like he just makes me so happy it's unbelievable so with that obviously I want him to have the best so he gets a delivery of butternut box every single month to the door and this month they included this super cute turkey Christmas dinner one in there so when we have a Christmas dinner this year he can also be included and have the turkey butternut box as well any other food dry food if I put that in front of him not a chance he will eat it he's so picky like he's literally one of those dogs where you might give him like a piece of steak and he's like mm, I don't think that's for me whereas every single time I put butternut box down in front of him especially the lamb one, 1000% 1, he will eat it. He just is obsessed with Butternut Box. So if you are looking for a really good present for your dog this year, then I feel like Butternut Box is not only a really amazing, handy thing to have, you don't have to go to the pet shop and get any food, or when you're doing your food shops at Tesco or whatever, you don't have to like, you know, go to that aisle that's always busy and then carry it to the car. Instead, Butternut Box comes straight to your door and you're gonna be guaranteed to know that your dog is getting the best nutrients it can possibly get. All of the food is tested on humans, so you can actually eat the food if you wanted to. Max has never looked healthier, shinier. He's been on it now since he was probably about four months old, and as I said, he was really picky before, so he was very underweight, he wouldn't eat. Whereas now, everybody always compliments him on his coat. He's so shiny. The vet's always saying, like, oh, he's so shiny. He's literally got such a glossy coat. But that's because Butternut Box has so many good minerals, vitamins in there, everything that he could possibly need all in one place. And he also loves the taste of it, especially when it's warmed up and put on a human plate. I know, I am that I am that dog mum. I literally will give him whatever he wants, but I just know with Butternut Box, he's getting the absolute best thing he could possibly get. So again, if you are looking for a really nice gift for your dog this year, it would be worth signing up to Butternut Box. I have a code down below in a link that you can get a discount on your first two boxes. However, I have also got a few little toys for the dogs. So I did an emergency shop at Home Sense yesterday. I got a few bits. I've ever been quite good with the presents this year. The fact that I have like really had a chance to think about what I want to get everybody. So on Black Friday, I did get quite a few main presents, which I'm not going to share in here because I know my husband will watch and my mum so stuff like that I know is like a main present I haven't included in this um, video because I just don't want them to find out which they will so I did like an emergency home send shop for just some other bits as well which I'm going to share in a few of these bits I love home sends because you can literally just go in there and they have everything so if you are a last minute shopper like I am I will definitely be going to home sends on Christmas Eve 1000% they have everything they have amazing deals on beauty products so I found all these bits as I was going around the store I'm going to share with you a few bits today so I got these two this one is for Max's cousin as I mentioned Leo 
Leo has the biggest appetite. He's a Labrador. Anyone who has a Labrador will know the labs love their food. He has the biggest appetite ever. So whenever you're eating anything around him, you just know you have to be on watch because he will pounce at you. At any point, any opportunity he thinks he can steal your food, he will. So as a joke, I've got him this. It's called the Pet Star. It was from TK Maxx. It was only £3.79, which is a bargain. I don't know if you've been to any of the pet shops at the moment, but everything is like minimum £6, £8 for like a Brussels sprout that you know is going to get destroyed. Whereas this was £3.79, which I think is really good for a dog toy. And it's a packet of crisps, so he can finally live out his fantasy of stealing my crisps. And then I got this from Max. So this was £8.99. It should have been £12. Um, and this one is from a brand called Cupid and Comet Festive Dog Toys. And it's an octopus. Max loves nothing more than this like weird noise. So I feel like he'll be obsessed with that. And I think... No. Oh, oh yeah, it does. His body squeaks. So this is a real treat, Max. He's going to love that. Then more of an idea for you or for a special woman in your life is this hairdryer. So I have mentioned this before on my channel. My dad used to have his own business. He had like a mobile van where he'd go to hairdressers and sharpen their scissors or you, you, if you're watching this right now, little Eddie, that's my dad. He used to go around Yorkshire to all the ladies hair salons and sharpen their scissors and also sell them anything that they need like Dryers. This was when I was a teenager. Um, so my dad really taught me a lot about business and like he'd gone from being a coal miner and then had to start all over again. So he started his own business. But one of the good perks of that was as a teenager, I had hair dryers on demand. I was like, right, I need a good hair dryer. I need some straighteners. So as a Christmas present, my dad would give me some stock, which would always be the best. So this hair dryer is the Parlux 3... 3 1200, it used to be the Palette 3000. I actually still have the original one. It's in the drawer over there, but I've bought a new one because I feel like it's literally about to blow up. I've had it, I'm not gonna, I'm not even exaggerating when I say this, 15 years, maybe actually more, maybe 17 years. I reckon it's about 17 years I've had that hair dryer. Um, I'm 30, 33 next month and I've had it since I was a teenager, 1000%. That's, I'm gonna go get it just to show you the difference. If this doesn't look 15 years old, I don't know what does. It doesn't even have any writing left on it. It. like it's literally so old this is why i bought myself a new one this has lasted me that long that this would be an amazing amazing gift so the power looks 3200 i did actually get this from look fantastic which is a new thing because you could only get these from like sally's or any like hairdressing like you know like beauty wholesalers kind of thing you could only get them from there because these are like professional hairdresser hair dryers this is why they last so long so just like if you went and bought a treadmill it's meant for your house whereas if a Jim bought a treadmill, they wouldn't go to Argos to buy a treadmill, they'd buy like a heavy duty, long standing treadmill. This is the same with these hair dryers. A lot of the questions that I get asked about my hair, where people are like, oh my God, it looks so thick, blah, blah, blah. It's honestly not thick at all. It's that this hair dryer is just so amazing at drying your hair and giving it fullness, but also just, I don't know, it just gives you that professional finish because it's a professional hair dryer. This one is a little bit more expensive than the traditional hair dryer, but I would 100% go for something like this over like a brand you can buy at Argos. I'll link this down below if they are still available and look fantastic. I did however find a few in home sense from like Babyliss and stuff that were on offer. There was actually loads of really good deals in um, TK Maxx for hair dryers and hair tools from Babyliss. They were like half price. So if you are looking for any hair tools and you don't want to really spend as much as this is, then TK Maxx have some amazing deals on hair electricals at the moment. Then next is this perfume. So again, I love to share about perfumes. I try not to share too much because I feel like perfume is just such a personal thing. Like what I think smells nice might not smell nice to you. Um, and I also don't want to share too much about what scents I wear because I then feel like everybody starts to wear the same things, which has happened with the Maison Francis Baccarat Rouge. I feel like a lot of people um, wear that one and also the Zara one. So that one's kind of lost its like pizzazz because I feel like so many people you'll smell wearing it then it doesn't really have the same effect because obviously a lot of people smell the same same of creed i used to love wearing creed a lot of people wear creed um so i'm always on this like journey to find rare bespoke scents that not a lot of people wear which is where i came across this one from christian dior because my fave dr ahmed if you follow me on instagram and actually i've posted some stuff on youtube before about where i get my skincare and my botox and any kind of 
things that I need doing to make me look young forever. <laughs> Dr. Ahmed does. And he wears one of these Christian Dior perfumes. And every single time I go in, I give him a big hug and I come out, I'm like, I can still smell his like oud scent because it really like stays on and lasts a long time. I took the plunge, I went to Trafford Centre um, and then they had like a concession in there outside which was all the Christian Dior perfumes and I was like this is a sign, I'm finally going to bite the bullet and I'm going to get this. So I didn't just get it for myself, I actually got it to share as a Christmas present with my husband. He obviously knows I'm not going to like use it and then wrap it up. <laughs> but I did say to him at the time, I was like we're going to split this as a um, Christmas present because our friends as a wedding gift gave us a Selfridges voucher for £100 so I put that towards buying this because this is extremely extremely expensive this is probably the highest price point of things i'm going to share with you today but if you are looking for something that's super special and going to last a very long time then this is stunning honestly i love packaging for me is everything as well so this one is the santal Nior christian dior paris and i got it in the biggest um liter that you can get because it was better value for money. It was around 300 pounds, I think. Maybe even closer. I think it was like 350, something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll find it and link it down below. But just look how much perfume you get. And I've been using that for, well, both of us have been using that and I've been, you know, dousing myself in it. So it's gonna last a very long time. Honestly, the amount of compliments I get for wearing this, honestly, it's insane. They have loads of different scents that you can go and smell in the concessions. This one, like I said, it was from Selfridges. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for something that's like statement present and you get in a bag, you don't want accessories, you don't want anything like that, then I feel like having a scent that's really strong and powerful and expensive really gives like an impression to somebody when you meet them. It's one of those things that as humans, we almost associate like people smelling good as like a nice positive thing. This is the most expensive special present out of all of these, but if I didn't already have it, this is probably what I would have been asking for this year. Going on to my next present idea is why I mentioned about handbags. I have stopped buying handbags. I mean, because of the Balenciaga scandal as well, like I am so sad that I just bought those triple S not that long ago because I'm regretting that massively right now because who the hell wants to be seen in Balenciaga right now with all that stuff, it's just horrendous. What I have been doing, and I'm so glad I've been doing now, I was so close to buying another Balenciaga bag, but I didn't, thank God. So instead, I have been renting bags from a brand called Cocoon. Again, none of these bits I'm sharing with you now, I've been told to promote, but I have just been using Cocoon paying full price. So a rental bag, I think it's between, like, I think at the minute there's a first month free um, code. I'll have a look on the website and link it down below. Um, but yeah, please use my referral friend code because I get, um, get money back and then the other person gets money off as well so I'll add that down below um what it is is you choose a bag for the month or three months get sent to you and you pay just like a monthly subscription to keep the bag and have the bag and then obviously it saves you from having like to buy multiple bags because I have found recently I mean I love my YSL college bag that was like a massive pit that's actually my first ever designer bag purchase and I've not really been somebody who has over the years like bought designer bags or I could e couldn't even afford designer bags to be honest but but it's more that I haven't and never seen the value in like really splurging on having like a huge bag collection. I feel like it's a real luxury to do that. But also I personally think that money can be spent better in investing in your businesses, which I've obviously done. But also just like, why do you need like a designer bag when you can have like a, just a normal bag? But what I have found is since I've been styling pieces up more, having a good quality statement bag, does actually make the outfit so much more. So there's been so many times where, especially since I've been doing the rentals, that um, I've been able to change the bag so often. So one minute I had like a brown Gucci bag in September, October, and then now I've gone for this Weissler Cassandra bag. This has been great for building around all the um, Christmas party looks and things like that because it's just such a classic statement bag. Whereas I wouldn't have been able to bring that kind of like luxury feel to those outfits without having just this kind of like premium style statement bag so i do think renting is the way forward for me if you are somebody who is really like wanting to have a designer bag collection but you can't really afford to have like multiple you know thousand pound bags i mean it is a real luxury to have one in itself like it's just so expensive and just ridiculous i think it's between i first paid 50 pounds and then i think i'm paying 89 or maybe 99 pounds now but i can literally swap the bag at any point which is so good for obviously my videos and things like that that i'm doing but i think obviously if i was just wanting it for a usage to just be like right i'm going out this month or i'm going on holiday this month 
then this would be perfect because you can literally just choose which designer bag you want and take that on holiday with you or take that to an event with you and then you just give it back and they are such great quality like i was shocked when they first came because i was thinking surely like loads of people are going to use this bag it's going to be awful but it's actually not so like the only thing i've noticed is that like the print here is like slightly um faded and things like that like but my YSL bag, my college bag, is a different colour completely from when I first bought it and I've really looked after it but over time obviously you're going to have wear and tear. I feel like the rental way is a way forward. Again, I'll link that down below because that might be a really nice gift to give somebody who wants a designer bag collection but can't quite afford to have multiple bags. Then a few last minute gifts I picked up. So um, my husband's brother Adam just bought his first home. So he is a bachelor on his own in this house and this house is beautiful. He's doing it so well. It's gorgeous. It's him and his dog Leo but I feel like it just needs and you'll be happy for me to say this because I've already asked him if this is okay for me to buy for him um it needs just like a little you know like feminine things like we'll go over for dinner and me and his mum are like can we have some wine or whatever and he's like I don't have any wine glasses but why would he have wine glasses he doesn't drink wine and he doesn't you know have a partner so why would he have wine glasses so this is an idea I've had to buy him things that he probably wouldn't want to admit he has bought for himself but I have bought for him um, and just makes the house nice and like because that adds that little feminine touch and like I said I have had this cleared off already I was like would you be offended if I did this and he was like no please do so I'll show you what I bought him again TK Maxx and Home Sense cannot be beaten for price first of all something when I was posting much more home stuff on my house account some people used to ask me about the wine glasses that I got you cannot be going to Home Sense or TK Maxx for wine glasses they are just stunning so i've picked this four set up because he doesn't need like six or seven does he he needs four so these should have been 25 quid i've got them for 14.99 from home sense and they're just beautiful like a really classic gorgeous nice wine glass like you know the ones from ikea they just don't look the same they don't have the same like you know these look like they're gonna last a long time they're beautiful stylish they're gonna look great in his new house you, you never know he might even start to like wine after this <laughs> Then I also had to add a little bit more of a feminine touch to his house. I picked up one of these diffusers, which are so good. I love a diffuser. I am a massive Next diffuser fan. They are so amazing. Um, but also you can find some really amazing ones at TK Maxx and HomeSense. So this one is like a grey one. I won't unbox it because I'm going to actually give it to him. Grey on the back there, which I think will look really nice in his house. And it's grey, you know, it's masculine. Um, and it's in a jasmine and oud wood, which is quite, quite a sweet jasmine smell. But then it's got that undertone of like an oud, like woody, kind of leathery smell. And then I got him this. I wasn't actually, I was just going to get him the glasses and the diffuser because that's kind of the vibe I got from him. But then I thought, let's just push it a little bit further. And I've got him a masculine candle. Because I think, do you know what? What if he like, you know, has a day over? The house needs to smell good, you know? It's literally going to kill me for putting this in. Teakwood Sand and Fog inspired Californian Coast. I wish you could smell this. This smells like, you know when men get out of the shower and it smells like nice, like, manly shower gel? This is what this smells of. Then on the topic of TK Maxx and Home Sense, like I said, I was literally like going around thinking, because I've got everything, put that in my basket, put that in my basket. And then I got to the checkout and it was literally all of these presents were 150 pounds i was like wow like bargain central starting with these little bits i got one for my mum and one for my mother-in-law just like little stocking fillers so this actually so excited by this little find because this is actually my husband's mother's favorite perfume and it was actually in tk maxx for more or less half price i was so excited so i literally text um and she's dad been like i'm just i swear this is the one that she like of course none of the men in the family really knew if it was the right one so i've taken a chance hopefully it is the right one but i'm pretty sure it is and um this one i think was 34 pounds and it's a full perfume so super happy with that little find and then i also picked up from tk maxx this one which was a sanctuary spa love sanctuary you get this in boots and stuff and it is quite expensive i mean it's not ridiculous not christian dior ridiculously expensive but you know for like everyday kind of use like when i'm spraying that christian dior i'm literally like one cent is like five pounds <laughs> make it last um whereas you know these like things from boots that are like nice to have they're like seven pound but you know you can go to bloody asda and get like a redox shower gel for like one pound like if you think about it in that respect it is quite expensive for what it is 
So this one was actually only five pounds instead of seven pounds. So mom's gonna love this because she does love to have like a nice smelling shower. So I thought stocking filler. Again, I'm not gonna say any other gifts I got from my mom because she does occasionally watch my videos and I don't want to see this. Then again, another thing I picked up from Tweaking Outs from my dad is these slippers. So he wants like pajamas for his Christmas present. I wanted to get him something really nice. He's literally typical dad, just doesn't want anything. He's like, I'm fine, I don't need anything. So I'm trying to think of things he hasn't got. There's been so many presents I've got for him and I've been like, this is the one, he's gonna love it. No, we ended up having it back. I think I got him a Google Home. I was like, it's gonna be go really good. You can like ask it to play any record that you want because he loves like Northern Soul and loves music. It now lives in our kitchen. He's just, dumb. he's not interested at all. I got him a record player once, which he does actually really like, but again, it didn't get the reaction I was hoping for. Um, and then this year I wanted to get him something really nice. I wanted to get him something from Burberry, like a nice Burberry scarf. He's refusing, he just definitely does not want me to spend that kind of money on him. So instead I'm trying to get like nice little things that are gonna be helpful, because he does have my Max quite often, like him and my mum, if we're doing things while we're working, they'll take Max because they think that he is their grandchild and he Max also thinks that he is their grandchild. So I thought these would be really good for when he gets up because Max gets them up in the morning early to go to the toilet. Then when I can put these on his feet and his feet aren't cold. So he likes a Ben Sherman shirt. I thought Ben Sherman slipper, can't go wrong. And these were only 12 99 instead of 30 pounds. I think I've actually spent more on shower gel for my uncle than I have on these slippers at Ben Sherman. So that is a bargain. But while I was in there, I couldn't, like honestly, I I feel like I am obsessive TV Max, clearly. But while I was in there, I was like, they actually fought with everything for Christmas. So as you walk in, there was like this big stand that was like gifts for him, gifts for her, and it was like party games. And I was like, oh, perfect. Like I love nothing more than on Christmas Day, like we were all family, we all sat playing games, and like it's really competitive. One year we did, um, not last year, the year before, we did hot wings challenge where I was in charge of like getting all these little chicken wings and like we had we went to this shop in Leeds which was um, like a hot sauce shop and we bought like all of the really hot hot sauces and like did it in a scale up like the hot sauce challenge um, and that was so, honestly like we'll live down in memory forever with our family because it was hilarious the way that everyone was like dying with these hot sauces. But this year we're going to take it a little bit more tamer because I have found that there is so many musical tastes within our family. So I've gone for this. I saw it and I couldn't refuse it. It's called Hum That Tune. It's a game where I'm guessing, but it's got like a little thing that you, th you spin around and then I think it connects to an app or a book. No, a book, sorry, there's a book. And then you have to like listen to the song and then you have to hum it and then the team has to try and guess it. I was like, this is perfect because there are so many <laughs> different music plays. Like Anthony Zed loves rock. Anthony's mum loves Motown Soul, Anthony loves like R&B, like there's just a lot of different things going on in our family with music taste. So I feel like this will be really funny for Christmas day. Oh, and that one was only 8 99 which I thought was really good. And then this one is Battle of the Ages, because I feel like this always happens, like when you, with your family, there's always like the younger generation, then there's the oldest, then there's the grandparents, like this looks really fun. So it's stuff like what year was the first Woodstock concert and then like three different answers you have to pick from and obviously green teams. So I thought this would be really good as well for Battle of the Ages. So these two games are we definitely going to be playing on Christmas Day. And then the last two I want to share with you are both things that I have for myself and I thought these would be really good gift ideas. If you are somebody watching for your partner right now and you are thinking what the hell do I get them, then this might be a good idea. So. First is Skims. I love my Skims so much. I mean, I feel like this would be, you know, maybe something they'd have to have shown interest in before because you don't know if buying someone shapewear because I think it might be get, get the wrong impression. But I just feel like the quality of Skims hasn't really changed my life. I love all of the shapewear stuff. I've done quite a few videos on how amazing the shapewear stuff is. But also I feel like the packaging is really nice for gifts. They don't just do shapewear, they do like underwear sets as well, which I am wearing. I'm actually wearing one right now, which is just a coincidence. But I'm wearing a Skims bra. I feel like there's just so many good things. I feel like if I was receiving Skims this Christmas, I'd be like, yes, well done you. Because I feel like that's, it's just, it's worth the hype. Um, and it's not, it's not cheap, so it's always a really nice present to receive um, or to give. 
but I do think it's going to be one of those gifts as well where you're going to use it every day and be like, especially if it's underwear, where you're going to be like, yeah, that was a good present. Um, and then finally, the last one, I touched on Dr. Ahmed before I start this video, but he has literally changed my skincare game. Like, I actually look back on some of the videos that I have posted on here and on social media, and I was having Botox, but the way I was having the Botox was making my eyebrows, like, peak so high, I just looked constantly angry and a little bit crazy, and I'm like, how did I think that looked good for so long? Whereas he has completely changed my face. Like I look so much more natural. This is how I actually looked before I became 32. Um, and I had my lips dissolved with him. Like he's just so good at saying like, you don't need that, don't do this. I've had quite a few treatments with Dr. Ahmed, which have been insane. I know one of my best friends, she's actually asking for her husband for her birthday that she wants to have a treatment done with Dr. Ahmed because he is unbelievable. Um, something that would be an amazing gift and has again really changed how I feel about my face and skin is this Get Harley skincare subscription. So this, you book an appointment with Dr. Ahmed, I think it's £50 for the consultation but then you can use the £50 towards your skincare stuff and it gets delivered to your daughter's all medical skincare which is incredible from Get Harley, you get like a nice little note, it even like says your name on the box which is lovely and then it like is a prescription on how to use it and how it all works and then these bits you can't just buy over the counter, you have to get them prescribed by a dermatologist, so then you use the money from the consultation on the products and then it works out really well and some of the products aren't that expensive i think these are like 30 40 pounds which you're going to pay for like elemis or brands you know that are like meant to be like kind of look like they're going to do something but they're not because they are over the counter whereas these are prescribed like this is two percent salicylic acid um acne treatment abaji pore therapy unbelievable product to anyone who has breakouts and then this one i'm absolutely loving as well at the moment hydration boosting cream from skin at better science you cannot buy these from boots or super drug or harvey nichols you have to actually have them prescribed this has been a game changer for at my door and it honestly has made the biggest difference to my skin perfect and you can even put it push it back if you wanted to not have it every six weeks like some of the products last a lot longer than six weeks so Get Harley, cannot recommend enough with Dr. Ahmed. I'll link it all down below for you as I have with everything else. So I hope you have enjoyed this. It's been so good to share with you all of my ideas and just be super festive. Again, if you wanted to use my button up box link, it's down below for you to get 50% off your first box, which is an incredible deal. And you know, don't overlook your pooches this year. Make sure that your doggies are getting treated. Get them something that's gonna make them feel good. Last longer, like we, we only have so much time with our dogs. And I feel like if you're feeding them really nutritious food, we have longer time with them. Like it's just so important for me to make sure that I'm doing everything I possibly can to make sure that my dog is happy and healthy. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.